Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Weapons of H3VR. Oop, reset that because uh, I'm re-recording this because I messed up with the recording. So anyways, today we are taking a look at a very early semi-automatic rifle. The Model 8 and uh, this rifle which is uh, much later, but based on the same rifle, the Model 81. So, the Model 8 is a short not short, a long recoil operated rifle, semi auto rifle designed by none other than uh, John Moses Browning. He uh, sold his patent to Remington, and Remington and FN agreed to produce this rifle. Remington in the US market, and FN the rest of the world. This didn't really work out for FN though, for one simple reason they only sold 5,000 of these rifles. The rest of the world just wasn't interested in these rifles. The US, however, Remington produced 80,000 Model 8 and I believe around 50,000 Model uh, 81. So that's 130,000 of both these rifles. That's a lot more than uh, what Effen managed to sell. These rifles are uh, chambered in this uh, proprietary cartridge. I can't remember exactly what it was. Let's take a quick look, let's find out. Uh, rifle, carbine, Model 8, you're there. 35 Remington. Chambered in 35 Remington. The Model 8. Let's just clear the. I should have cleared up before the video. It has a 5 round internal magazine. This one has a 15 round box magazine. Detachable. Only single stack though. Hence why it's so. It's, it's very long and thin. This rifle, the Model 8, features a uh, peep sight. The Model 81 has a U-notch sight, which honestly, on this rifle, I don't like the peep sight on uh, this rifle. It's, uh, yeah, I, it's, it's weird. It uh, also has a AK-style safety lever, as you can see here. With it uh, enabled, you can't pull the bolt back. With, it, with the safety disengaged, you can easily pull the bolt back. The rifles also lock open on empty, nice little uh, feature which I always appreciate in a rifle, or any weapon for that matter. So yeah, that, that was short basically on uh, its history, let's shoot it. So uh, here you can see of course, like I said, the peep sight, I'm not a fan of the peep sight on this thing. It's uh, functional though, 5 shots, 40. This thing. As I said and showed, has a U-notch, however. And uh, I think it's uh, much nicer to shoot, so let's reset that. Let's do five shots just to compare. Yeah, I'm a bit more accurate with uh, this. Let's get the rest of the shots in. Locks open on empty. Of course, you can either, since it's detachable, take a new one. And uh, off to the races. Or you can use the stripper clips to uh, recharge your uh, box magazine. Just like uh, many rifles of the time. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Also, I have to say. Oh, and the Model 8 one, this one at least, also has a pistol, uh, semi pistol grip. Which, uh, this one is just a straight stock. I also have to say, I like the college better. This one looks all worn, not worn out, but all, I don't know. This one looks shinier, basically. Let's just clear the table. So, yeah, that, that I think that basically covers the Model 8. Very popular rifle in uh, the United States. And uh, not so much in uh, the rest of the world. I'm not sure of the reasons why. I'm guessing maybe maybe the Americans were willing, more willing to buy a fancy new semiotic rifle. Since this was... Oh, I forgot to mention when it was designed and released. This was designed in uh, 1900 by uh, John Moses Browning. He applied for the patent. He was awarded it in 1900. He sold the patent to Remington. And Remington introduced this in... Uh, and FN started production in 1905, I believe. Uh, yeah... That's 
th that's it for uh, when it started. So it was very early on in the production of uh, semi-automatic rifles, which uh, maybe the European or the non-American market was just a lot more reluctant to buy something new, fancy, and because it's new, expensive. But, well, that's only speculation on my part. I'm not sure of the actual reasons. I don't know if anybody knows the actual reasons. If you do, just feel free to leave a comment in the description below. But yeah, that covers the Model 8. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Hopefully this time the recording isn't messed up. Be sure to vote for the next gun you want to see in the poll in the description. Leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye!